Now, traders at UBA say that they expect the market to remain choppy in the interim as banks are continue to prioritize uh, reducing their interbank funding by selling mostly automobiles and uh, CBN special bills to cover their funding obligations. Uh, Banco de Dusonia, the head of fixed income trading at UBA, joins me now uh, for more on the market. Uh, thank you so much for Banco de Dusonia. Let's first start with the dynamics we're seeing with investors uh, play with that OMO and TS special bills. Treasury bills market has actually been very, very, very active. And the major highlight this week is um, the NTB auction, which has just come out. Unusually, it's been very decisive. And uh, that's because the result has come out at 2.30 rather than in the evening that we usually um, used to see. So what has happened is that there's so much liquidity expected tomorrow owing to the bond um, maturity 2021 coming in on the 15th of uh, July, 500 billion accompanied with coupon and other inflows. We're expecting that system liquidity will touch 800 billion or even 900 billion tomorrow. As we speak today, this morning, max system liquidity was 200. So with those additional inflows, we've seen treasury bills dealers in particular being very proactive, coming into the secondary market and trying to grab as much bills as they could. But there's been debt of instrument because there's been a decline of issuance born from the central bank. So we've had more of NTB bills in the system rather than OMO because OMO issuance had been reduced from 400 billion to about 20 to 30 billion of late. So there's been more action on NTB bills um, demand. And then what happened was that today's result saw a 60 basis point decline from 9.15 to 8.67. Uh, it's unprecedented this year. But if the last time we saw such a drop was last year when um, there was so much funds also and then interest rate was declining. This happened between April and then June, the last, uh, the second quarter of last year. Where are we seeing the bond yield, yeah, yields heading to, especially with these new levels of um, liquidity that we're expecting in the market, as well as the reopening of the 2068, uh, 2028 and 2036 bonds? Yeah, it's a clear divergence in the market this time around. Usually, when there's serious liquidity, we find that the bullish trend extends to the bond end, especially on the short end. But that's not happening this time around because the yield expectation is uh, still high compared to um, uh, inflation and then the expectation that the uh, federal government is in need and will need to borrow more. Keep in mind that the federal government just um, proposed to the legislature, and I think it, it's been passed, about 900 billion supplementary budget. So that shows that they are still in need of funds. We were told they were, they were planning to issue euro bonds. That has not happened yet. And then if you look at the external result, we are, we are currently at a 13 month low. If you put together all that factor, it's expected that yields, I mean, huge funds who have the money want more for their money in long-term assets. So right now, we are playing short. We're seeing most funds like PFAs play on the term deposit level. So they are buying CPs as a alternative source of investment, and they are very playing very heavily on the NTB side. So right now, there's there's, there's a little bit more um, caution being expressed by most dealers and investors on the bonds end of the market. So we've seen yields inch up compared to where they were two weeks ago. So going into the next auction, we are expecting that there's a possibility that yields stop at where they stopped at um, June's um, auction, or possibly even inch up. Um, higher in line with market expectation of long-term debt instruments. Uh, but Bankale, what's your call for interest rates in the second half then, real quick? Honestly, we're, we're generally it's a um, uh, we're, we're expecting higher interest rates simply because of where inflation is and then the need to borrow from the f um, um, federal government. So that supplementary budget um, approval they got probably means they'll be issuing more instruments to the DMO. So you'll be, as the fund holder, uh, willing to reprice compared to the levels we are now, especially on the bonds.